Hello boys and girls, in math today, we are gonna be talking about regrouping ones as tens. And we're gonna use our tens rods and our ones units to practice that. Okay, so let's do a little review of 10 rods and ones units. Right here I have two 10 rods and six ones units. All right, so let's see what number we have. Remember, one tens rod equals 10 right? So when we count tens rods, we count by tens. So 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, we have 26. What if I add another ones cube? Now what do we have? 27. Okay, what if I add another one? 28. How about another one? 29 and one more we have 30. Okay, well, let's see how many of these ones cubes do I have? Well, I had six, so then I have seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I have ten ones units. Boys and girls, do you remember tens ones units is equal to one ten rod? Okay, ten ones is equal to one ten. So instead of having all these ones here and having to count them, if I have 10, I can take those 10, put them in one hand, have a tens rod in the other hand, and if I trade them, it's an even trade because 10 ones is equal to one 10. All right, so I can take these 10, these ones out and put this 10 in. And now it's much easier to count because we only have tens rods. So let's count, see how many we have, 10, 20, 30, all right? So we're going to be practicing that in our lesson today. So that was just a little review, a little intro to uh, review what we know about our tens rods. Okay, so let's see. All right, I'm gonna leave two tens rods here and then I'm gonna put 14 ones. So let's see, let's count by twos to get them in. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Here we go. So I have two tens rods and then 14 of these ones units. Okie dokie. So we need to figure out how much we have. So we can count by tens, but then we're gonna have to count the ones one at a time. Now, do you think, is there a faster way to do this? There is. We can do something called regrouping. All right, I said that word earlier. We can regroup or trade the ones that we have here so that it'll be, this group of ones will become tens and ones. Okay? So, how many ones did we say are equal to one ten rod? Ten, right? Ten. So let's count out tens of these. So two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. There we go. All right, so can I trade this ten rod with these, these ones, these ten ones? Yes, because they are equal. So instead of having to count out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I can just see right away that, oh, it's a ten rod, it equals ten. So I'm going to put the ones over here. And here we go, and now we're only left with four ones, which we can't regroup because they're, they don't equal 10, they're less than 10. So let's count how much we have, starting with the tens. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. So we have three tens and four ones, which equals 34. Now it was much easier to find that answer than if we had to count out 14 of these. It was much easier to use a 10 rod and four ones. Okay, so you need to remember when you're doing this lesson that 10 ones equals one 10. Okay, 10 ones equals one 10. Let's try another problem. So let's say, actually let's keep these. We have three tens and 12 ones. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 
12. All right, here we go. Line those up a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so now we have three tens and 12 ones. Okay, so if you have more than nine ones, you can regroup them. So how many ones do we have here? How many did I say? How many did we count? 12, good. Is 12 more than nine? Yes, 12 is more than nine. So now I can take these ones and I need to figure out, okay, well, what can I regroup into a 10, into a tens rod? How many ones equals 110? The answer is right in front of you, 10. Okay, so 10 ones equals 110. So I need to take 10 ones out of here. Okay, so two, four, six, eight, 10. All right, so I'm gonna take these 10 ones and I'm gonna trade them for 110. All right, so I'm gonna put that right here, take these tens away. Okay, so now how many tens and ones do I have? Remember, I started off with three tens and 12 ones. Now what do I have? I have four tens and two ones. Okay, I have four tens and two ones, which equals 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. All right, so you see how I do that? Instead of just having all those ones there and having to count every single one of them, if, it, if there are more than nine ones, I can regroup them into tens rods, okay? but I can only regroup 10 into tens rods. I can't say, oh, let me get rid of all 12 of them and just put a tens rod in, because that's a different number. 10, uh, 12 ones does not equal 110. Okay, so you can only take 10 of the ones and make them into a tens rod, all right? Now, on your worksheet, you are not gonna be able to move the tens rods and ones units around. Your worksheet is gonna give you something like this, where you have like, a tens rod and another tens rod and then 14 ones. So we'll put one, two, three, four, and then we'll put the 10 up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. So you'll have something like that where you have two tens and uh, 14 ones. So to regroup them, you can't pick them up, right? They're on the paper. So instead, you're going to circle 10 of the ones. All right, so you'll take your pencil and you'll circle 10 of the ones. So two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. All right, so you'll circle 10 of the ones kind of like that. And then there will be like an arrow and you can, and in another color, there will be drawn a tens rod like that. Okay, you can draw another tens rod like that to show that you took these 10 ones and made them into another tens rod. So instead of it being two tens and 14 ones, it becomes three tens and four ones, okay? So that is your work for today, boys and girls. Remember, 10 ones equals 110. So if you have more than nine of these ones units, more than nine of them, you can regroup. Okay, so we are going to continue talking about this throughout the week. If you have any questions, please let me know so I can help you. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and get started on your worksheet. You are going to do a really great job.